Okay, it happens to be um, Saturday afternoon, June the 15th, 2013. <laughs> June the 15th already. How about that? Ah. Welcome everyone and welcome to Progressive Discussions. Uh, we are coming to you live and pre-recorded because by the time you end up seeing this, it's pre-recorded. But it's still uncensored. Always uncensored, always corporate and FCC free. But we're coming to you from the uh, Newsletter Censored Research Center. But probably uh, collected by the NSA. Screw them! Like I was saying, we're coming to you from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey. So, but let me formally pipe aboard my illustrious co-host and mentor, the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977. And if you want to find out all about it, the newsletter, just go to newslettercensored.com. So I will pipe him aboard our progressive liberal starship. We got upgraded, just like you upgrade your computer software, or we upgraded from a pirate ship to a starship. Oh, it's a dual piping aboard. Not only my co-host and mentor, but Mr. V for Vendetta Anonymous right here. Mr. Anonymous, Mr. V for Vendetta, and my co-host. Because in spirit, this guy's my co-host too. Arr, Arr matey, welcome aboard huh? the progressive starship, the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. What? How are you feeling this week, sir? Uh, you have to bear with me because I have a voice problem this week. He had some troubles with his uh, throat or I burned my vocal cord. Yeah. And uh, it seems a little pretty good right now, but yesterday it was like I had laryngitis. Laryngitis. Laryngitis, yeah. Okay. So um, I will have to, uh, you know, just be a little yeah. careful. Well, what probably happened is when you were drinking your your mega vitamin C drink went wrong I went down the wrong pipe it went down the wrong pipe yeah and being that vitamin C is an acid and it wasn't the stove pipe no <sighs> which we have a stove pipe but you'll see later on finally now was, we have a stove pipe to God just like the the right wing uh, uh, counterfeit Christian Republicans yes we do right. have a we do have a stove pipe right it's right here. It's crude, but it it, it works. Where you okay? See if he's listening. Yeah. Let me see if he's listening. Pretend I'm a, I'm a self-righteous zealot, uh, evangelical right-wing uh, religious nut, you Republican. know, bigoted, knowing nothing about the Bible, but claims that they talk to God. Republican. Hello, God. That's the Archie Bunker, Gord. Gord, uh, do you have anything to tell me? Uh, okay, it's okay to cut social programs for the poor. It's, Wait a second, are you it, sure you're talking to God? Uh, yeah, but we're Republicans. We have a stovepipe to God. What's that, God? It's it, it's okay for the rich not to pay taxes and make the make the middle class pay it. Because we we create jo jobs in in uh, in, um, in uh, where the hell do we create jobs again? In uh, India and China and you know. Oh, Bangladesh I thought it was America. Country. I thought it, we created them no, in America. No, 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 no. They're created by uh, no. small businesses that have less than 500 employees. They produce 60 to 64 percent of all the jobs in America. Oh, really? Yeah. And and it's okay to be a bigot and and deport okay. deport uh, people of color or Latin heritage. Well, no, we want them to self-deport. Can you oh. imagine that? 
Oh, God said it's okay, and it's okay to hire illegal aliens for cheap labor. Oh yeah, that's and that. and H one B H one B visas and outsourcing, importing H one Bs and outsourcing American jobs, Excellent. because it's because uh, uh, selfishness is a virtue, Ooh. and 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 greed is good. Greed is good. Wow, God, God's letting us do all these things. I think you got the wrong stovepipe going to the wrong person. I think you're talking to the other guy, the gateway of life. You know, Satan. The stovepipe. Do you hear me? Do you know who we are? Gee, I wonder how this would sound with the uh, the Zylon voice with the Jews harp. The only thing is, I would have to. You can't hold both things at I would the same have to, time. I would have to do this, and wow. Well, Anyway, certain certain things you have to do uh, one at a time. That's true. You know, the old stovepipe. But anyway. Uh, all right, let's let's get back to business here. Chiseler's Hall of Shame. The Chiseler's Hall of Shame. For those of you that are members of our Facebook groups, is exactly how it sounds. It's a hall of fame for chiselers, and chiselers take any form. Could be any business, could be retail stores, it could be a certain product, you know, um, line commercials, it could be a, a, a restaurant that chisels you as a customer. Yeah. You know, it could be, it, it could take many forms, but the one thing they all have in common is that under Republicans, they are allowed to chisel because they are deregulated. All right, now. Um, Okay, T-Mobile, now there's, they're calling themselves T-Mobile Boost, maybe there's a merger going on. They're always changing the name, the, uh, the, uh... They usually change their name when they do something bad. Uh, cell phone, uh, wireless providers, cell phone providers. You know, well, like Alec changed its name now? Yeah. Because we, of all the exposure, that we found out how uh -huh. they were writing the laws for our congressmen and women and stuff like that. That's like that's like you know? a, 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 a sleazy company that that advertises on an infomercial late night TV. Once they get caught screwing people over, all of a sudden their P.O. box is gone, their name is gone, their advertise <laughs> and then they come back as somebody else. Yeah, reincarnation. They get reincarnated. <laughs> but okay, but Republicans think that's okay because you're supposed to like be, as a buyer, you're supposed to be aware. Yeah. Anyway, T-Mobile. Um, this um, came from a, uh, a friend of mine. He did not want me to use his name because he is so anonymous, like he, Vendetta. There. Yeah, he is so ultra liberal Ooh. that he wants everybody to like him. And I quote: He wants everybody to like him, and he wants to make friends, and he don't want to say anything negative. I said to him, don't ever come on progressive discussions no. because we'll make your hair curl and your and your blood coital. That's curdle, but the, the, in Three Stooges talk. Right. Anyway, this gentleman, young man, has T-Mobile, like many people, because they, they give you a good deal. They give you a, a low price with unlimited, you know, texting and unlimited uh, minutes and all this stuff. But there's there's a catch to it once you get a smartphone. Huh. Well, lo and behold, with the T-Mobile, if you have internet access, or you, let's say you have a smartphone upgraded, every time you take a video with your phone, you find it on your bill. Now, I thought that was a normal function of the smartphone. It should be. I didn't know that was a, uh, a chargeable uh, privilege. I thought it was something inherently na normal to the phone, mm -hmm. like taking a photo. But he don't get charged for that, but what is this crap? Every time you take a little video, it, it's on your bill. Mm -hmm. Every little friggin' thing, man, it's like, it, it's like, it's like a hospital charging an insurance company one dollar per aspirin or one dollar or a bank charging fees for this, that, and yeah. the other thing. That's right. Yeah. 
every little thing they could charge for. Uh, <clears throat> there was another analogy that was very similar to the um, to this and to the uh, hospitals. Uh, when it comes to me, I'll mention it. But but there's, there are similarities out there uh, where they kind of like slither like a slippery eel and they they know how to play the system they have there are loopholes and there are ways they can you know they could receive their ill-gotten gains and get away with it but of course on the Republicans they can't so greedy bastards shame on you T-Mobile for doing that I don't have many Chisler's Hall of Shames but you know as once my um, co-host, Dr. Bill, starts doing the readings, there may be others popping up. Now, um, <clears throat> when uh, William H. Moore III, our commercial voiceover specialist, calls later on, around 3.15 p.m., I want to go over this with him. He interviewed uh, another gentleman that came to us, poor, uh, low-income person, that is collecting social services. Anyway, this person uh, recently had, um, actually last week, had uh, his electricity shut off because mm. social services, Department of uh, uh, Social Services in uh, Bergen County, New Jersey, did not pay the bill. Mm. He has some kind of a um, Arrangement. arrangement where his utilities will be covered mm. and uh, he he filled out the proper forms his caseworker said everything was fine well some incompetence uh, some incompetent person or persons working for the state of New Jersey screwed up so his bill was shut off now what he found he, for one week he had to take ice cold showers and he had no electricity, no cable, no nothing. For one week, they kept on telling him, we'll get right back to you, we'll get on it, we'll solve it, don't worry, we'll get back to you. Anyway, he sat for one week having nothing and he found out that public service, the energy provider, PSE&G of New Jersey, was overbilling the state uh -huh. astronomically more than the consumption of electricity by this person who only lives in a studio garden apartment and there is no way that this man can possibly ring up an electric bill that high it's it, it's totally fraudulent so I have a feeling that PSC and G uh, sees that the state is paying the bill and they must have attempted to rip off the state of New Jersey by jacking up this man's electric bill to high heavens. Huh. So who then shut him down? PSC and G shut it down, shut down because down the bill because wasn't paid, but uh, the bill because is the suspicious. social services, yeah, is suspicious of the height of the bill. Maybe yeah. that's why social services did not pay it, because how could one man who is trying to live frugally in a gar in a in a studio apartment possibly can possibly have an electric bill above and beyond all of his neighbors mm. in the same building uh, yeah could well, it be I know why mm. uh, ripping off government yes yeah that then you could have that yeah didn't people do it with the Medicare system rip off Medicaid? Medicare Medicaid, Medicare, Medicare, Medicaid. Medicare was severely ripped off for a long time. Still but, is. But they let it get away with it. They, they let it continue. Right. That's right. They let it continue. That's right. You can't cut those things. You can't cut fraud and waste, but you can cut social services. Right. That's how the Republicans think. You know, so uh, shame on you, Chisler's Hall of Shame, PSE and G of New Jersey. Public service, uh, is it gas and electric? Pub mm. PS, public service, uh, ga electric PSC, yeah. and gas. Yeah. PSC and G in New Jersey, you crooks, but New Jersey's full of sleaze bags. As far as I know, they were, they're supposed to uh, not cut you off. 
especially if they're guilty of possible fraud. You know, especially uh, with the non-payment of one bill. Yeah. Well, anyway, William, Sir William Morrow will elaborate on it later. Okay, before we start um, the uh, readings, uh, there was a very disturbing article that was given to me by uh, uh, a, a friend from, from England who uh, runs a publication, uh, Dawn Lester, I believe. Um, the country of Belgium is in the process right now of trying to pass a law that will, now get ready, you're not going to believe this, that would allow the government of Belgium to euthanize children with autism and adults with Alzheimer's disease. You believe this? Does it sound a little like Nazi Germany concentration camps? I was looking at a video the other night. There's a video Facebook. on this. Well, this video was not about that subject per se, but it was mentioned in there that the elites would like to kill mm -hmm. about 80% of us in America. Mm. So, so the calling of the herd is true. That's correct. That that lady, that lady with the very short uh, crew cut, the doctor that's uh, living in Central America, in Costa Rica now, that was on Jesse Ventura's show. She was right. By the way, the calling of the herd. You just reminded me about Jesse. Jesse was on Gary now on Thursday. I have. So to you might go up to the archives to check it out. Well, not on. Not on BAI now. Not P R N F N. You gotta go to WBAI.org. Yeah, but in the archives. yeah, but um, yeah, but the show. The <coughs> excuse me. The show that you hear on WBAI. Yes. Is the same show that ends up in Gary Knoll's Progressive Radio Network archives. Well, if you can find it there, then find it there. But I will also go to UStream to Gary Knoll's. You stream channel to see if it was videoed, because the first time well, Je Jesse, Jesse Vincent was on the phone, so Gary's uh, usually on the video, but Jesse's okay, on the phone. Okay. All right, then then it's not important for me to to see it. The first time Jesse was on Gary Knoll's show, uh, he was there in person, and I think his book, 60, 60 things the government, sixty three, yeah, sixty three things the government does not want you to know, was just just right. had now, come out. Now the book is. His Hawken is the uh, the Democrats and the re blood lacans. Re blood lacans, uh, which nobody can say. Play play on words. Way. The Democrats and the re blood lacans yeah. uh, 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 making reference to the fact that the no two, more gangs in government. That the two party system is that corrupt. Yeah, they're they're two gangs and two gangs fighting each other. <laughs> I, I mean, it's accurate, but it's hard for people to pronounce the two words but uh, anyway uh, some gentlemen I was interviewing some gentlemen and this has to do with um, online dating uh, of course American men should beware of getting involved with uh, women from other countries because a lot of them are using the American men just to get a permanent residency uh, visa a green card so you be aware of that and there are there are very good actresses out there and actors because men do it to women too but there's another little scam little trick that the girls play today you know it's funny you know when the women's liberation movement was starting and we used to watch like all in the family and you know in the 70s and and uh, civil rights uh, women's lib women they used to yeah, mention a term called uh, uh, double standard back then. Now double standards are supposed to work both ways. Not just, you know, double standard works one way. Works one way. But if you want What's to be good for the goose ain't good for the game. Right. Like if you want if a woman wants total equality, equal pay for equal job, total equality across the board. Mm -hmm. You can't say to the man, well you're the man, you're supposed to do this that and the other thing. They you're supposed to pick me up. You're supposed to pay for everything. You're supposed to, supposed to, supposed to. What is this supposed to? They want to make the same amount of money as a man, mm -hmm. which is fair. But mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, interpersonal 
relationships, when it comes to uh, so, uh, social life, dating, they want the man to be superior to them and do everything and pay for everything and not be equal. That's a double standard. I'm sure many intelligent feminists That's would a reverse ag double standard. Would agree reverse double standard, like reverse racism, which exists now. Um, and there's plenty of proof of it. Now, uh, an intelligent feminist would hear this and would have to agree based on facts, based on logic. Logic. Now, the thing that the men were complaining about is that many females have become uh, what is affectionately known as, and I'm being sarcastic, restaurant whores, which is a woman who takes an interest in a man and instead of meeting at a casual place like a Starbucks for for a coffee or a cappuccino or a cup of tea, a pastry perhaps, they right away they want dinner. They, they forget to have dinner. And this is a person who is not your girlfriend, she's not your main squeeze, she's not your, your fiance, she's not your wife, you, you're just meeting her. Mm -hmm. And instead of meeting at a very casual uh, surroundings, which is the way it should be, and, and mm -hmm. you know, if you can, you go Dutch because, you know, you're not a couple. Right away they want dinner, they have dinner, they might conveniently order drinks, which mm -hmm. are expensive today, and guess what? Then all of a sudden the, the girl starts blowing off the, the guy, and or she doesn't return his phone calls, mm -hmm. his voicemails, mm -hmm. and then I assume she's going on to the next victim to get more free dinners mm -hmm. and more free drinks, and he, she does the same thing to him, and it goes on and on and on. That's the newest dating scam, the restaurant whore. But mm -hmm. it's not that new, because uh, I've seen it done years ago. I've seen it done. I mean, uh, but it, it's more popular now. But isn't it funny how people, a certain, a certain specific group would complain and cry about the other the other opposite group, you know, playing the uh, the victim, sitting on a pity pot, playing the victim, but they don't they don't look at what they do. And they want their cake and eat it too, I guess. Right. They don't look at they don't look at what they do. Okay. It's like anybody who's throwing stones in a glass house. Now they want their cake and eat it. And my theory is they want their cake and eat it because they, they want you to pay for it. And they and they want you to pay for yeah. it is because they know that men have a stronger libido than women and more testosterone and men will kiss ass and chase a woman that's hot looking like his life depended on it and they know they can wrap that guy they can wrap those men right around their little finger if they're hot looking and that's how they get away with it the man's mm -hmm. libido is much stronger than a woman's except when a woman becomes middle-aged and she becomes the hot to trot person in the relationship. Oh man, I just forgot now. I'm sorry. No, no, it has nothing to do with what you're saying, but... Can you dig that, brother? Dolores the other day told me what M-I-L-F means, which Milf. I've been fighting with for a long time Milf. to find out the definition. An, old, uh, an older chick who's single and out in the prowl, right? No, it means something to the effect that uh, cougar? Is that like a cougar? Mother's, mother's uh, something that you'd like to fuck. You like to f fuck? Fuck. Yeah. Say, you're allowed to say fuck on the show. I Mother's... Am I, but the I, I forget. But they have to be mothers. Yes, mothers. Oh, God. Or, um, uh, I, I forgot what the well, I Well, I hope the for. mothers can get a babysitter. Mothers, the mothers is something you'd like to fuck. What the I means, right. I'm, it's out of my head so, right now. So, it, it, is it men that call them MILFs, or do the MILFs call themselves MILFs? Oh, I know, all this stuff is men stuff, come on. MILFs, cougars. Men make all these designations. You know, horny, older women men. that are on the prowl, hot yeah. to trot. Men, men come up with all this shit. Look, right? ever since its inception, What's no inception? matter what they... No matter what they try to say, you got these women who want to produce their own porn and stuff, and they they say uh, they make it for it's equal, and they make it for women and stuff like that. It's bullshit. Roll them and action.
Porn, Sorry. from its inception, has always been for the man. Uh, okay. uh, e, uh, 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 for the man. You might be right about that. It is correct. But now, women, the women you of give porn, a shit about a woman's the women orgasm. of porn, do it. You feel they do it strictly for the moolah, for the money. The moolah. Or are they really into it? The, like, like, well, um, some of the immature um, ones, let's like, say the um, young ones. A nymph, a nymphomaniac. No, it has nothing to do with sex. They it's get into it because they don't know any better. You mean they're they're young, dumb, and full of cum? Uh, there you go. In fact, that's the name of the video. Uh... Ah! Hey! That's the name of the video series. They're trying to... Young, dumb, the, and full of cum. The elitists are trying to sabotage my... Uh, my levity bells. It's over here. Where did it fall? Right there. Oh, anything is possible on progressive discussions. Oh, man. My poor, uh... Oh, no, it's a... No, I can fix it, but... Damn. When, I, when we say something funny, I ring the levity bells. Shit. Well, one didn't like to be wrong. I guess not. Huh. All right, I'll put it here. I'll tend to that later. Anyway, uh, young, dumb, and full of cum. And then you... I'm still wrestling with the eye. Oh, in MILF? Yeah. What's that, uh, Anonymous? Yeah, why don't you help me here, um, pal? Uh, mothers? Nah. You know what? <laughs> it has to do with. I just know that like the fuck is the L and the F. Okay? Well, because their their libido supposedly increases when a woman re yeah, gets into a her. Woman 